Hey YouTube, Brian LCS, thanks for stopping by the channel and this video, a little vacation haul and A-OK. -okay. So I just got back from a week of vacation, uh, headed south and went down to South Carolina to visit some family, uh, but also met up with South Paul Brad and Tylux the Mighty. So we went out uh, to two different shops and then um, grabbed some lunch and just and just hung out. So great time. It's the second time I've met up with those guys. Always great um, to see them and you know chat with uh, fellow community members and friends. So it's it's a, always a great time. So we went um, like I said to two different shops. Uh, I picked up some books. So let's go through the hall now. This is Spawn issue. 312. So this was a um, really just a cover by. Love that cover. Um, and I uh, actually think this will probably go in one of my prize boxes or an AOK. -okay. Dr. Alpha Alpha uh, <laughs> number seven. Now I'm trying to complete the current run. Um, so the current series that's out, um, I don't believe. Uh, I believe this is from the current run. I know there's been a couple different volumes, um, and this was one of the back issues that I was missing, so I picked it up. Um, hopefully, this is from the current run. I have to I have to double check it. Um, it is a second printing, um, but pick that up because I was looking for that. And then on to some new books that I picked up this week. Um, I haven't had a chance to visit my LCS, my normal LCS, because I was out of town. So picked up some books um, that were I haven't officially put on my pull list yet, but wanted to grab. So this is uh, ha uh, Han Solo and Chewbacca number two. Great uh, Chewbacca cover. Uh, Venom, Lethal Protector number two. It's another great cover. Ah, and this was um, another... Uh, this was from two weeks ago, three weeks ago maybe, but just saw this for cover price and had to grab this cover. I already have one or two of these in the PC, but it's such a great cover. Now, one of the stores that we went to, Cosmic Cosmic Rays, um, it, they, what they do is they have basically books up from the last, you know, several weeks of New Comic Book Day, and any back issues was buy three, get one free. So I ended up picking up um, Star Wars, um, this legacy series um it's it's a book i did not pick up initially but they had all three issues so went ahead and picked that up um you know star wars is always spec around it but i've actually heard that this is a really good story so interested in reading it now what's great about the shop we went to uh cosmic rays the owner was there we were chatting up with him he was just a really nice guy um like i said he offered a discount through all gave bags and boards for all the books. Just a great, a great shop. I picked up some other books and it looks like I bent this book up pretty good. I have a um, kind of like a travel box that I take with me, um, but looks like I messed up Iron Fist number three. So may have to pick up another copy of that. And then I picked up the A cover of Han Solo and Chewbacca number two. A little Han uh, Greedo uh, action there on the cover. Spider Punk number two. Um, this first issue of this was not my favorite, but um, wanted to give it a, another chance. Um, you know, some people are really enjoying the storyline, so I figured let me let me give the uh, let me give it at least one more issue. We have Silk number five. Uh, this is a scroll variant cover. Just thought it was a cool looking cover. And then the last book I picked up when I was out of town was Wolverine Patch number two, Mutant vs. Mutant. Um, so looking forward to that. I actually enjoyed um, the first issue. So those are the comic book pickups while on vacation. But what I also have is a little A-OK -okay from Tylux. He gave me a stack of cards here uh, all Mets cards so I'm a New York Met fan and so let's just take a look at some of these cards that he gave me uh, I you know he handed me the stack when we when we saw each other and I was 
Really appreciated that. So we got Noah, Noah Syndergaard, Thor, as he was known here in New York before he went off and signed with the Angels. Uh, we've got, uh, that is Francisco Lindor. It's tough to read that card. I think that is one of the holiday editions. And we have a, another standard Francisco Lindor. We've got Francisco Lindor. <laughs> we have another Francisco Lindor. Little shiny, looks like a Topps gold card. Uh, and then we have uh, Tyler Miguel. I think actually he's on the DL. <laughs> Mets have had uh, some injuries recently. Now this is a Fleer 90 Mark carry on. I don't know if I remember him as a Met. Uh, I do remember this man. Uh, Keith Hernandez. Great first baseman for the 86 Mets where they won the World Series. And he's the um, current announcer for the local Mets broadcast. Tim Tuffle, another member, I believe he was a member of the 86 World Series winning team. Kevin McReynolds, Doug Simons, ooh, Dwight Gooden. One of my favorite Mets pitchers of all time. Uh, just an incredible dominating pitcher in his, uh, in his prime. And went on to uh, find success with the uh, crosstown uh, New York Yankees as well. Another uh, Dwight Gooden. And then we have, who is this? I gotta read that, it's tough to read. Franklin, maybe I can see it on the back probably better. Kill, I'm not sure who that is. <laughs> Rick Aguilera, another uh, 80s uh, player. Current uh, player for the Mets, James McCann. Some great cards, Michael Conforto. So now this is an interesting story. Michael, um, he was a free agent but got hurt. And now he's actually not signed with anybody. And he's actually talking about maybe once he's healthy, I believe after the All-Star break, maybe even re-signing with the, with the Mets. Um, outfielder, really great outfielder, pretty good hitter. So we'll see what happens. Kevin, uh, Kevin Pilar. We've got... Jake, I'm not even going to pr pronounce that last name. Uh, Marcus Stroman, uh, he is no longer a Met. He is, uh, I think he went Toronto, maybe? Was that what I'm thinking? He, but he actually grew up on um, Long Island and it was a big Met fan growing up. Um, so I kind of hated seeing him, him go. That is Stroman again. We've got a little... Queens uh, High. We got, that's tough to read. Some of these tops cards are really tough to read. These, this is from the holiday. Edward Diaz. See, that's very easy to read. Matt's Closer. Um, Javier's Javier Baez, who's no longer with the Mets, kind of came with them last season at the trading deadline and then signed somewhere else. Another Javier, Javier Baez card. I was hoping the Mets were going to keep him, but it didn't work out. Howard Johnson, Hojo, one of the Mets from 86. Um, and we have Mr. Pete Alonzo. Polar Bear, the big uh, home run derby winner the last two years and really one of the um, star players on the Mets. Um, and then we have a um, flashiest feat, Pete Alonzo with the, we'll never forget, the 9-11 uh, tribute um, card. That's really cool. And then we have David Peterson, that is some shiny goodness right there. Revolution card. That is a really good looking card. And then the card that really stood out. And um, this is a um, numbered medallion card for Pete Alonzo. Uh, 
I'll show you the back. Congratulations. Uh, player jersey numbered medallion card. That is just a great card uh, in a um, top loader. Uh, and that is a card that I will uh, definitely hang on to. Pete, Pete Alonso is one of my favorite players. I mean, who, who doesn't like a, you know, a first baseman who's, you know, hitting home runs and, and winning home run derby. So that was my AOK, -okay, in-person AOK -okay from Tylux the Mighty, the Mullet. Um, but just a great time uh, down, you know, on vacation and then, you know, getting to meet up with the community. So thanks for watching. That's all I have for you today. We will see you soon.